Hello, everybody. My name is Ronaldo, and the following presentation addresses a computational model inspired on some producing structures found in nature. This research project is a collaboration between the Nonlinear Mechanics Research Group at the Bristol Composites Institute and the Bioacoustics and Sensor Ecology Group from the School of Biological Sciences. Nature can serve as a source of inspiration that could potentially enable innovative functionalities in existing engineering applications. For example, the geometrical and pre-stress conditions of a Venus flytrap uh, enable the existence of multiple states of stability and upon a trigger condition, a snap buckling instability causes the rapid closure of its leaves, allowing to capture its prey. This biological mechanism has inspired the development of deployable structures and morphing devices, among other applications. Here, I will introduce you a recently discovered multi-stable biological structure, which not only transitions across multiple stable states, but also produces sound. Sound production caused by buckling instabilities can be exemplified by crushing a plastic bottle. Where the vibrations excited by the buckled structure disturb the surrounding air, producing the acoustic waves that we hear a sound. Airmen moths produce bursts of ultrasonic clicking sounds to defend from predatory bats. Take a look to the slow motion video. These sounds are produced when their aeroelastic timbals buckle. And aeroelastic timbals are shredded regions of the wing membrane located at the base of the posterior wings. These structures are composed of two parts, a shredded band and a smooth membrane, which is known as a window. Uh, some production is triggered when each individual striation is buckled. By manipulating a wing, it is possible to buckle the striations. Notice that the uh, ultrasound is heard through a bat detector. Here, a simplified model comprised of a single stria is proposed. Our approach is purely geometrical, so no pre-stress is considered in this model. The geometry is derived from a doubly curved surface and the stress generated by interpolating surface segments, ensuring a G3 or third derivative continuity condition between adjoining surfaces. The resultant curvature of the geometry is conveniently shown through a Gaussian curvature map, where the regions that transition from positive to negative Gaussian curvature can be identified. Here, the finite element model of the stress is shown. The boundary conditions are indicated and the load is applied on the top edge, either as a rotation angle or a moment. Upon loading, the structure bends through a reduced thickness region between the striation and the smooth surface. A nonlinear analysis is carried out in Abacus using the R-Length or Riggs method and explicit time integration. The resultant equilibrium diagram shows that the structure can exhibit two different responses, a local instability and a global buckling condition. The local instability is reached only under displacement control, producing a dimple at the reduced thickness region. The explicit analysis shows that this local instability occurs as a dynamic snapdown, and global buckling can occur as a dynamic snap through only under low control. This behavior could be represented by a truss mechanism resembling the cross section of the geometry. Therefore, we found that the double curve geometry can introduce a local instability under displacement control, which appears only at sufficiently small thickness ratio over the region of reduced thickness. Now, Experiments using a laser Doppler vibrometer show that the resonance of the window is what contributes the most to the timbal sound production. So a couple of structural acoustic model has been implemented to study the response of a multi stria model. In this analysis, harmonic load is assumed and the fundamental mode of vibration is shown. Similarly, the window is subjected to the largest amplitude displacements. While it would be more appropriate to evaluate the system in transient dynamic conditions, it is also necessary to estimate the dynamic behavior under harmonic excitation to understand the acoustic and dynamic properties of the model, and also to examine the order of magnitude of the frequency response. In summary, inspired by the defense mechanism of ermine moths for the production of antibat sounds, we have developed by inspired models built upon the morphology of our elastic timbals. It was shown that elastic instabilities can be enabled by the geometric properties of the structure, also, a multi stray model shows that the window could act as the main acoustic source. The following steps are to study the transient dynamic response of the balance part timbal, introducing local instabilities to produce the burst of clicks observed in aeroelastic timbals. In conclusion, nature has shown us a novel example to exploit multi-stability while implementing further functionality to engineering structures. I would like to acknowledge the team from the Faculty of Life Sciences, my sponsors, and the ACRC. And please, you can approach me through the posters platform or contact me by email for further discussions. 
Thank you very much.